Howdy y'all, Teacher Jimmy here, and today we are going to be creating our own set of flashcards to help us get ready for the test that is coming on Wednesday. The test will be over the entire Europe unit, and if you follow along with me here, hopefully this will help you get ready. Okay, in the assignment description there is a link. Click on it and it will give you the opportunity to make a copy of this document. Go ahead and make a copy. And it may take your computer just a second to load it, hopefully not too long. But eventually, it's going to give you this Google Sheet with three columns. Now, I'm going to zoom mine in a little bit so we can see better. There. Okay. So, I said three columns, I think, but there's actually four. The first one, where it says side one, do not mess with that. Mr. Murray did all that typing. You don't have to do any of it. The last two are color options. One says card color, the other says text color. That will let you edit the color of the virtual uh, flashcard and the color of the text on that flashcard. You are welcome to change these. It's, you know, whatever you are comfortable with. But the thing you have to do is right here in the middle where it says side two. For each one of these, we are gonna read the description and we are going to type in the word or term that the description describes. So if you're working from home, what you're basically going to do is you're going to follow along with me. You can have this video playing. And every time I, uh, we get to an answer, pause the video and go type the answer into your own copy. That's what I would suggest. All right, let's do it. This was one of the most powerful and influential empires in the history of the world. They were in many ways further advanced than the countries that came immediately after them, being able to build amazing buildings, roads, and even having running water. Well, that, that is the Roman Empire. Next, this was the age of rebirth, where much of the knowledge lost in the passing of the Roman Empire was rediscovered. This era is famous for great art, most of it based on either Christian or Greek and Roman themes. That is the Renaissance. This was the age of invention and change, during which the lives of average people began to look more and more like the lives we lead today. This was the time when people began to have the idea that the world their children grew up in would be different from the one they grew up with. That was something we looked at before Thanksgiving. That is the Industrial Revolution. And finally, this was the most devastating conflict that humanity had seen up to this point. Technology had advanced to the point that conflict could occur on a truly global scale, and the sheer scale of the fighting and death shocked the world. World War I. Okay. Those three things are the three big ages that we talked about, and that here they are in order from the Roman Empire being the oldest to World War I being the most recent. You may need to know that for the test, so there you go. Next, I think we're gonna do government stuff. This means a type of government where all power is concentrated in the hands of one person. That is an autocracy. This type of government is led by a king or queen, and that office is passed down through a royal family. That would be a monarchy. This type of government, meaning power of the people, is one where regular people are able to exercise governmental power, usually by voting. That is a democracy. This is the type of democracy where people directly vote on laws or decisions. That is a direct democracy. This is the type of democracy where people elect representatives who then vote on laws. Well, that is a representative democracy. This means rule by the few, where only a small group of elites is in charge. For example, a junta. This is an oligarchy. A junta is a special type of oligarchy. This is a government that is based on religious beliefs or religious teachings. That would be a theocracy. This is where there is no effective government at all, often caused by civil war. That is an anarchy. 
This invention allowed cotton seeds to be extracted from raw cotton, making cotton a cloth that everyone could afford. That would be the cotton gin. This invention allowed people to easily generate electricity, helping to create the electrically powered world that we live in. That is an electric dynamo. This was the first invention that allowed people to communicate long distances virtually instantaneously. That would be an electric telegraph. This invention, created by a man named Gutenberg, allowed books to be printed much more easily than before. That would be the printing press. This invention allowed crops to be cut down automatically, meaning one farmer could produce more food. That is the mechanical reaper. This invention is a machine that does the sewing automatically, making clothing much cheaper. Well, that is a sewing machine. This invention was an improvement on the spinning wheel and allowed many strands of thread to be spun simultaneously. That is the spinning jenny. Perhaps the most iconic invention of the Industrial Revolution, this invention was a milestone in human development, being the first machine that could do work without wind, water, or muscle power. Steam engine. One of the most famous disease outbreaks in, in history, this occurred before the Renaissance and killed off between 30 to 60% of Europe's population. The Black Plague. This side of World War I consisted of Great Britain, France, and Russia. That is the Triple Entente. This side of World War I consisted of Germany, Austria-Hungary, Bulgaria, and the Ottoman Empire. That would be the central powers. This system of gotcha back agreements was one of the things that led to a small war becoming a world war. That would be alliances. The event that sparked the First World War was the assassination of this Austrian archduke. His name was Franz Ferdinand. This refers to the systematic killing of a large number of one specific race or religion. The example we studied thus far is the Armenian Genocide, in which the Ottoman Turks murdered more than one and a half million Armenians. Well, it's a genocide. They actually had that word in the, in the answer there. This is when a stronger nation, like many of the European nations, takes land and resources away from weaker ones. That would be imperialism. We'll be talking more and more about that as the year goes on. The sinking of this British ocean liner, or passenger ship, is one of the things that pushed American public opinion against Germany, leading to our entering the war. That would be the Lusitania. And... This is the treaty that ended the First World War. It was signed exactly five years after the assassination of the Austrian Archduke. That would be the Treaty of the Treaty of Versailles. Yay, French pronunciations. Okay. Once you have this all filled in, in that case, you are ready to go ahead and create your flashcards. Don't worry, it's going to be super easy. First step, go to File right here. Go to Publish to the Web. Click on it. You don't need to worry about changing anything. Just click Publish. And then OK. All right. As soon as it's been published, all you have to do is right down here, it says Get the Link Here. Click there, and then you have a link right here. You're going to do two things with that link. Now, number one, when you click on it, you should get this little menu. Click copy link. You're going to turn this link in to me so I can see that you did this. You do it by doing the turn in your flashcard form right here. I'm going to skip all this and just show you right at the very end where it says paste the link for your completed flashcards here. 
it, I'm just going to hit Control V to paste, and there we go. The rest is just your name and all that, and then click Submit. But let me show you the flashcards that you created. To get to them, you're going to follow this link right here. By clicking on it, it should open up a new window, and you now have a set of online flashcards that you can use to study. You know, I could go in a random order here. This refers to the systematic killing of a large number of one specific race or religion. Uh, that would be a genocide. If I click on it, yay, I'm right. If you want this just out as a list, it'll put everything together as a list. Or uh, there's several things it has. If you do practice, it will give you a chance to enter the answers yourself and see if you're right. But the thing I really like is this, the matching section. Right here, it'll have things like, this invention allowed people to easily generate electricity, helping to create the electrically powered world that we live in. Well, I know that's the electric dynamo. So if I click on this and then electric dynamo right here, they will match and disappear. And you can do this to practice. There are actually a ton of random games and scrambles and things that you can make for yourself now. You basically did all the work and created these flashcards, and now you can use them in a whole bunch of different ways to study, which I hope you do. I hope this ends up being helpful for you guys. And if you have any trouble, of course, email me, send me a message somehow. And please, stay safe and stay healthy. Thank you.